why are we we isolate the VMO in a conversation? Why what what made us think at any point that a singular muscle, when you have three other ones, actually four other ones, does the job of knee extension? Terminal knee extension is the sole responsibility of the VMO. Or decelerates the entire body somehow. <laughs> <laughs> somehow. Somehow. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, to put it in that text of, of there is this huge impression, it was a huge movement through the 80s and the 90s of like it was all VMO. We still get scripts today. Hey, strengthen the VMO, you know, strengthen the VMO. And, and it, it goes along, strengthen the VMO. And, and right along these lines, there's no open chain knee extension. You know, those two things seem to be really, really strong themes yes. together, you know. And, you know, because of why, let's ask why is this the case? And, and the reality is that the research proved the VMO to not be the isolated mechanism back in the 90s. But it became such a strong movement that here we are and, and it's still being followed today. And it's just yeah. one of those passed down things. Yeah. So it's not, in my opinion, it's not to say the VMO is not important, but rather that certainly don't, let's not discard the other surrounding yeah. tissues yeah. at the level that like to say the VMO is some sort of the primary focus. And I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even go that far is that you've really got to get strength back in the leg and, and real strength at the end of the day, you know, not, can I do a straight leg raise with my leg externally rotated? That is, that's not even exercise in my playbook at this point in the game. I don't understand it. I don't see a reason for it. There's so many other things I can do to strengthen that limb and get that limb back into the position we want it to be to, to function. Yeah. I think when it comes to the distal quad, it's really, a, you know, it's a decelerator. You look at people who have phenomenally abnormally large distal quads, you usually talk about soccer athletes, downhill skiers, obviously bodybuilders and, uh, and cyclists. And they do a lot of eccentric work with the deep knee bend. And that's it. You know, do that. You'll get... You'll get lateral quad, you'll get medial quad, you'll get it all, and it'll be functional, it'll be good. But yeah, this the silliness of uh, you know, really that really need that VMO to kick back on. Like, what? How do you want to do that? And then you of course would say, Well, I have a needle. Like, oh, okay, I think that might be the only way you can actually get a better a bigger <laughs> VMO is with a needle. And and I don't recommend you do that. So I think you should probably walk out the door and, and come to us and do some, you know, good PT. That's a, that's a good plug. <laughs> 